The PlayStation 4 has a stacked lineup of single player games coming this fall, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming PS4 single player games in the fall of 2016. We'll be covering exclusives as well as multi platform games, so with that being said, let's get right into this. Number 10 Watch Dogs 2. While Watch Dogs 2 isn't strictly single player, there is a cooperative aspect to it. The game can be fully completed offline by yourself, which I imagine is how some people will decide to tackle this game. The first Watch Dogs game was one of the most successful new IPs this generation, at least from a commercial standpoint. The game itself did have some issues, but it did lay a solid foundation for a sequel to build upon, much like the first Assassin's Creed game. Now we have Watch Dogs 2, set in an open world San Francisco. You play as Marcus Holloway as he works with DedSec to take down the CTOS system in the city. Visually, the game looks outstanding, and now this time around with the game being exclusive to next-gen platforms, they'll have a bit more to work with. Watch Dogs 2 releases November 15th. Number 9, World of Final Fantasy. While the gaming world's attention is on a different Final Fantasy game this fall, one we'll get to later, there is also another game, World of Final Fantasy. A JRPG that is expected to resemble the gameplay of the older Final Fantasy games with the goal to attract those that have never played FF before. The game follows the story of two siblings in the world of Grimoire, and you'll encounter several iconic characters and creatures from all of the Final Fantasy games. World of Final Fantasy definitely won't be a big budget massive RPG experience, but it could fill in a nice niche of its own. The game releases on October 25th. Number 8, Gravity Rush 2. The first Gravity Rush game was originally released on the PlayStation Vita. It was one of the platform's best game, but obviously due to its niche market, it never saw any major success. However, it did see a remastered edition on the PlayStation 4 earlier this year, bundling all the DLC and upping the visuals, and that was very well done. Now we have Gravity Rush 2, which is being built ground up for the PlayStation 4, now with a much bigger world and more refined gameplay. The game has three times the amount of missions compared to the first game, and will take around 20 to 40 hours to complete. Gravity Rush 2 releases on December 2nd. Number 7, South Park The Fractured But Whole South Park The Stick of Truth was one of the best RPGs on the last generation platforms. It took the popular South Park license, dropped it into an RPG with very solid fundamentals, and it retained everything that made South Park hilarious. Whether you are a fan of South Park or just a fan of RPGs, it catered to both audiences. Now we have a follow-up, South Park The Fractured But Whole, which will once again pitch you as the new kid. Expect another hilarious RPG when South Park The Fractured But Whole releases on December 6th. Number 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider for PS4 The one-year timed exclusivity is almost over. Rise of the Tomb Raider is finally coming to PlayStation 4. At this point, after a year has already passed, you might be thinking, is it even worth to play it? But I implore you, if you enjoyed the Tomb Raider reboot from 2013, you will absolutely love Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's better than that game in every area, visually superior, the writing and story are better, gameplay is much more varied. The PlayStation 4 version will also be a 20-year celebration edition, which will come with a brand new DLC section titled Blood Ties, which allows the player to explore Lara's childhood home and uncover a family mystery. This DLC will also be fully playable using PlayStation VR. Better late than never, Rise of the Tomb Raider releases on October 11th. Number 5, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition Skyrim was one of the most popular games of the last decade. The hype leading up to it, the long-lasting power of the game is amazing to say the least. It's something very few games will ever accomplish. However, on the PlayStation 3, the game suffered from a litany of technical issues. Now we have Skyrim Special Edition for the PlayStation 4, a remaster that ups the visuals and frame rates, adds in all of the DLC, and includes mod support. If you've never played Skyrim, this is gonna be the definitive version on consoles, and even though it's gonna be a full retail price, it's still a lot of content for your dollar. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition releases on October 28th. Number 4, Dishonored 2. Arcane Studios' Dishonored was a terrific game. It had great gameplay, awesome aesthetic direction, and a fantastic world. Now we have a follow-up, Dishonored 2, set 15 years after the first game. Dishonored 2 will allow you to play as a grown-up Emily Caldwin or Corvo Otano, who was the protagonist of the first game. Just like the first game, you'll have a lot of options in how you want to tackle the game, so much so that you can finish the game without killing a single enemy. The upgrade system has been altered to a skill tree, giving the player even more options in where they want to take their character. Dishonored 2 is shaping up to be an excellent game. It releases on November 11th. You are going so dead. Let's 
Number 3, The Last Guardian. The Last Guardian has been in development for such a long time now. The game was originally announced back in 2009 as a PlayStation 3 title, and until E3 of 2015, we didn't hear anything about the game. Many believed it to be cancelled, but alas, it's finally coming this year. The Last Guardian is being developed by Team Eco, the guys that made two of the best PlayStation 2 games of all time in Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. Those games were grand in scale for the time and told very emotional narratives. The Last Guardian also seems to be following that route, and you can tell based on what we've seen so far that something bad could happen to the griffin-like Trico. Regardless, it'll be nice to finally play The Last Guardian. It releases on October 25th. Number 2, Mafia 3. Mafia 3 has become one of the most anticipated games of 2016 seemingly out of nowhere. Sure, Mafia 2 was a fantastic game, but it didn't seem like it was a world beater of any sorts in terms of popularity. But surprisingly, it seems that gamers are stoked for Mafia 3, which is great. Unlike Mafia 2, which was a very linear game, Mafia 3 will feature a full-blown open world based on New Orleans. The goal of the game is to build up your own mafia, take over the city, and eventually exact revenge on the Italian mob. This is the first game by Studio Hangar 13, so you know there's a lot of pressure on them to make the best game possible. Mafia 3 looks to be a very big budget experience. It released on October 7th. And finally, number one, Final Fantasy XV. When you talk about long-anticipated games, Final Fantasy XV has to be one everyone speaks about. The game was announced back in 2006 and it's seen a long and tumultuous road to say the least. But that's been well publicized. Let's talk about the game itself and it has potential to be one of the best JRPGs in a long time. Technically, the game is a marvel to say the least, visually at a completely another level. The world is filled with detail and life. We just hope that the frame rate manages to hold up. Gameplay is far more action-y than previous FF games. It's a real-time action battle system more similar to Kingdom Hearts than Final Fantasy, but from the demo, it was a blast to play. Hopefully the story and writing delivers because that was the main issue with the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy. The story was just all over the place. The long wait for Final Fantasy 15 is almost over. It releases on September 30th. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming PS4 single player games of fall 2016. What do you think? Which single player games are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.